Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Wendy, and we had some, I don't know if you'd call it excitement, but we had some carrying on in my neighborhood this morning. If you'd like to find out what happened, then do please stay tuned. So my husband phones me not even three minutes after he leaves this morning out the door to get in his truck to go to work. And um, he says, Wendy, I want you to be careful when you go to McDonald's. I was leaving right after him uh, to go ahead and go over there and get me something to eat. And he said, I want you to be careful. And I don't want you to stop at the end of the driveway or at the stop sign at the end of the street. And um, I was like, well, what's going on? And he said, there's a man out here. Uh, there's a man out here in a red shirt running around uh, screaming at the top of his lungs at me that he needs a shovel. And then when uh, Gary tells him that he doesn't have a shovel, he's, Gary said that the guy said, well, you want to take me to Panama City? And Gary is like, no, I got to go to work, man. He rolls up his window and he more or less, you know, takes eases off in his truck and uh, is getting the man out of the way so that he can pull off. And so I go ahead and I'm cautious when I go out the front door and lock it. Of course, the porch light's on. And um, this is 4.45, 5 o'clock in the morning. And uh, I, I get in my vehicle and I immediately lock the doors because I don't know what to expect. You know, Gary's not an extremist. Um, what he says is factual. So, I lock my doors. I back out. I do not stop at the end of the driveway. And after you turn out of our driveway, it's not 25, 30 feet. And that's the stop sign at the end of the road. And I just go ahead and go through it and head on down the road okay um i don't know how much time passed from the time that i pulled out till i came back and there were cop cars everywhere at um okay if you go through the stop sign that i did not stop at you go on through it and down about 50 yards is a house on the right hand side of the road. The porch lights were on. The cops were there. There was four cop cars. There was one out in the street, which drew my attention to the cops. And then there was three in the driveway. So, curiosity gets the best of me. And I go ahead, instead of turning at the stop sign to come into my driveway, I go ahead and I go through the stop sign and I ease by there. And they've got the guy shirtless now on the ground with his hands cuffed behind him so i go ahead down to the second or third driveway after that and i turn around and i come home but when i get home uh when i turn into our driveway our driveway is the driveway of four individuals my neighbors were out in the driveway and they waved me down and they said, well, did they get him? I said, yeah, you know, and they got him uh, over there on the ground, handcuffed. What's going on? I asked them. It's uh, her and her husband. And she says that the guy was uh, going door to door down there trying to get a shovel. Um, knocking on people's doors, asking for a shovel. He uh, asked the neighbor if he wanted to go to Jamaica with him. The guy's out of his mind on drugs, obviously. And um, um, so I tell them, oh, she tells me um, that he did get a shovel. I was like, he got a shovel. I thought to myself, well, who in the world would give a crazy doped up man a shovel? Anyway, we chat for a minute. And then I come on home and I park on the side of our house. And uh, the porch light's still on. And I come coming up the steps and I stop dead in my tracks. 
cheeks and the hair stood up on the back of my neck because there are Uno cards all over my front porch now. Of all things, Uno cards have been scattered out. They're kind of in a pile, but scattered. There's another deck of cards out there in a silver package. There's a pack of cigarettes. There's a Nutty Buddy bar. And um, my shovel's gone. My shovel's missing. That man, after I left from here, was on my porch. I, I didn't even know what to think. It just, you know, what if I didn't have to go somewhere? What, what? What would have happened if that man had knocked on my door? What would have happened if my husband had not called me and told me about that man and he knocked on my door and I opened it? You know, what if, what if, what if? So, I come on in the house and I'm like, well, what do I do? You know, did that man bash somebody in the head from the time he took my shovel to the police arresting him down the road? You know, what What do you want the shovel for? I know he wasn't out there digging a ditch. Um, just all kinds of thoughts are racing through my head. So, I go ahead and I phone the police. And explain to them, you know, that I'm a neighbor of the guy that got arrested out here on Covington. And that um, my shovel is missing off of my front porch. And that it has mine and my husband's fingerprints all over it. And I don't know what the man had done with the shovel from the time that he left my house. And they caught him down the block. I told her, you know, she said, well, ma'am, it's going to be okay. You don't need to do anything. We don't need to do anything. I said, well, I'm calling in to let you know in case you find out that somebody's hurt or, uh, you know, injured or whatever by this man. That That is my shovel that he stole off of my front porch. So that was pretty much the end of it. And uh, my neighbor came over here and knocked and wanted to know what was going on. And she knows the people that live in the house where the guy got arrested. So she's uh, going to let me know later on, you know, where he may have came from. You know, did he, did he get high and walk out of a house out here in my neighborhood? Did somebody put him out, out here? You know, where did he come from? Um, I never did see him. And Gary doesn't know. Gary's at work all the time. He don't know the faces of our neighbors. So, I just, um, I feel like I dodged a bullet this morning. I really do. I feel like I dodged a bullet. And I feel like God's on my side. And I just wanted to come on and tell you guys about it. Everybody be safe. Be kind to one another because you're not promised tomorrow and I shall see you in my next video. Bye!